Hi, Hunter. Hi, Teresa. Hey. Hi. Thank you all so much for helping my project. Yeah. Of course. Uh, could you say a little bit about yourself? Oh, I'm Hunter. I'm 17. Uh, I go to you know, I go to Klein Can. I, I like playing pickleball and um, yeah. Uh, I'm Teresa. I'm also 17. I also go to Klein Can and I am I'm a stand leader at my school and I'm also in student council. That's awesome. Oh, what's a stand leader? Uh, stand leaders is just basically someone that hypes up the crowd at football games and all the sports okay. events to get people going. To... That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, uh, I noticed they've been building like two new extensions to Klein King. Have yeah. they opened yet? And um, they they're open and they have like they have like um, what's it called like kids at the school and stuff. But um, but yeah, they're they're building they're building the extension and like they're making uh, a lot of more improvements now. Instead of like instead of just building, it's like you can kind of see what's like being built like in the development and stuff. And uh, yeah. is it just classrooms? Or? Yeah, basically just a lot more classrooms and uh, to fit more kids because there are so many kids there. Wow. There's like 6,000. But yeah. You know, um, in my graduating class, I had 87 people. Damn. And 87. 87, yeah. Even like, the, even like the second person wasn't in the top 2%. That's crazy. Um, a lot of people. I know. It's like so many. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, did y'all know that NASA sends some astronauts back to the moon? They plan on sending them back to the moon? Oh. That's actually really cool. Um, I did not know that actually. I, I, heard, I, heard, a little, I heard a little bit. I've been, uh, I heard a little bit about the, the International Space Station, but that's basically it. Yeah, um, so they're planning to send them around the moon next year and okay. then land in 2026. That is so cool. The last time we had people on the moon, uh, you want to guess what year? Is it yeah, that, 19 it would, something? Isn't it yeah, like, it's definitely 1970. 1972. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I was about to say, like, early 70s. Yeah. Um, well, whenever y'all think about where it might lead us, if y'all were to fast forward 200 years in the future, mm -hmm. do you think humanity is still only living on the Earth making short trips to places? Or do you think we actually have people, like, living their everyday lives out in space? I definitely think we could have a future in um, space for sure, but um, the because like there's been like a lot of like technical advancements that I like didn't even believe were possible at this point, and then there's like the stuff in movies that are like like bits and pieces that are starting to come together, and I'm like this is kind of crazy because like just with like the the like the, ex the explosion of like AI and stuff, like. Um, I definitely think we could make it possible, that's for sure. Uh, 200 you, years in the future, for sure. I what feel like, kind of going off of that, like, more of the expansion of technology and more information in this world, we could possibly gain Oh, so now that you both brought up AI, do you think it will make us smarter or dumber? I think it could be a good resource. Like, um, people back in, uh, like, 2000 were, like, uh, freaked out about smartphones. And um, in some ways, it has made us dumber, and in some ways, it has made us smarter. So, like, um, yeah, it's it's just um, based off of like perspective. But yeah, I think I think AI could be used as a really good tool, but it also could be overused to the point where it could become like a like a like a like let me like Google this or whatever because I don't like I, I don't know it myself. And so, I definitely think it could uh, hinder our. Um, too. But, um, consequences for everything. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um, what do you think? I feel like it can make us kind of dumber because we won't really think anymore. We're just going to be like, well, I have AI, so I can just do that. Yeah. So well, I feel like a lot of people are just like, well, I'm going to just use the AI. So, yeah. yeah. I guess it depends on if it's going to be like a coach or a servant or a master. Yeah. That would be like for sure. sort of the three different modes I could see it working on. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> Would y'all take a trip to space if we could? Um, do you want to stay? Uh, I would be very <laughs> nervous, but I don't know. It's very, I don't know. It's like, it's a very, like, I don't know situation because, like, I am nervous to go up there, but it does seem really cool. It's like a maybe. <laughs> maybe? Yeah. <laughs> maybe if you saw like a few thousand people go ahead of you and they came back and they're yeah, like... Yeah, maybe if I saw people come back and I'll gladly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make sure I'm going to be okay. <laughs> you just don't want to be a test pilot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. be the guinea pig. But um, in my opinion, if like if they had like, um, like 
like the thing they have going on right now where like they're like with like celebrities kind of moving over and um like i think personally that would be um a pretty cool experience to go up to the moon if they person i think i would like a little more like information on like how they would like send me up there like how they would supply life and everything and uh with like the the, the stuff that they have on the international space station it seems like that could be pretty feasible and so like now looking at that it was just like oh okay like that seems like something i might want to do because that seems really cool like i went to the moon like that'd be awesome <laughs> that's a very cool thing to say oh yeah <laughs> well that's really awesome i really appreciate y'all's time and yeah. it's great to get your viewpoints for my project thank oh, you yeah. so much thank you <laughs>